and welcome to the third part of this Rome travel vlog. We are having the most amazing time in Rome. If you're new around here, then hello, my name is Sam and I post lots of travel, lifestyle, Disney and theatre content. So make sure you're hitting the subscribe button if you like that kind of content. But today we're actually going and heading out of Rome slightly because we're going to be going to Pompeii and we're going to be seeing everything that Pompeii has to offer. It's a excursion that we booked directly through British Airways and um, it's really really good we get like a coach included but it's a whole like 12 hour day it's gonna be a long day we get lunch included um and yeah obviously I'm gonna share everything with you with what we get up to today which I'm very very excited about I would be in a school and learning all about like Mount Vesuvius and all that so it'd be great to see that all in person today so yeah I need to go and get ready I've got about like 15 minutes to get ready and then we're gonna start making our way over to a place where we need to meet our like tour guides for the day so Go and get ready and then I'll share the day with you. So this here is my outfit for the day for this Pompeii visit. They haven't actually put any kind of like guidelines on what you should wear, but I feel like it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm not too sure, but I'll let you know towards the end of the vlog. But yeah, basically I'm just wearing this like brown shirt, which I got from Sheen. And I also got these like linen trousers, which again are from Sheen. So it's again, a quite a nice cool outfit. It's not too hot outside today, to be honest, but that is my outfit of the day. Right, so this is where we are meeting for our excursion. You can see there's quite a few people over there, so we're just going to see if they're also on the same excursion as us. But um, yeah, it's only like a 10 minute walk here. I'm not sure if we've kind of missed the memo, but everybody seems to have suitcases that they've put us in this group. Right, we've made it onto the coach. Looks nice and cozy. Right, on the coach, it takes about 150 miles to get to Pompeii. It's going to take about two and a half hours to get there. Probably three actually on the coach, so yeah, it's going to be quite a long journey. We've got our snacks at the ready. I've gone for these Haribo Dragolo, I think they're called. Do you don't get these in the UK. Right, so we've made it into Naples, which has taken about four hours to get here. And we've stopped off for a margarita pizza. This was actually included in the price of the tour. Right, so we're finally now going on the tour. So we're going to see, we're actually in Pompeii now. This is some of the ruins and that kind of thing. I just following our tour guide. I'm a little bit confused because we're going into this like caramel factory and I have no idea why. After we walk to the second layer, the white, we remove the white layer and we use for okay, well, this definitely is not what we signed up for. Um, I feel like it's just a sales tactic kind of thing. Yeah, just don't know what's going on. See, we've kind of just been like given time to look around at these kind of things, and I guess like if we want to buy them, we can. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not what we paid for. Right, it seems to be a lot of time wasted. Hopefully that changes. We're now going into like the archaeological site, so hopefully that changes now. But. Um, yeah, considering it's been like six and a half hours since we got on the coach this morning, we're not really seeing anything. So this is an old stadium that would have been used in Pompeii, and at the back you can see Mount Vesuvius, which is like towering over. following the red umbrella as our tour guide so this here is an actual house like a house that they would have lived in um, in Pompeii you can see like inside but I guess these are like the bedrooms um, all the artwork that is like still up you can see like the concrete beds it's honestly mind-blowing like people actually lived here I just I can't comprehend it in my head It's actually so fascinating being here. Like, it really feels like I'm stepping into history. Well, I am literally. But it's just so fascinating. This here is the main square with Mount Vesuvius over there. This is the 
thing that you always see in photos when you like look at Pompeii on Google and things and it's just mind blowing to see it. So the tour guide just said that this here was a like rich house so it had like this centre part and I think like there's six bedrooms all around and it's just huge. Right, well we actually really really enjoyed that tour it was really good we're gonna go now into the pompeii like exhibition thing they've got it's free to go in here it's after the tour it's fascinating that all of this like survived like there was humans that didn't survive yet all of this stuff did Made a cat friend here in Pompeii. First Italian cat that I've seen. And just like that, we are back on the coach and it's began to honestly hammer it down. It's so rainy. I don't even know if you can see it through that window. You probably can't, but you can see it. it's raining so bad. Right, it's about nine o'clock now and we're gonna go to this restaurant here. I've heard good things. It's called Alfredo. It's really lovely in here. I'd say this is probably the most poshest restaurant that we've been to all the mains are about 15 16 euros okay so for my starter i've gone for this like fried rice and mozzarella thing it looks really really nice and it's really really cute they go and they mix the pasta literally right in front of your eyes i love it and for my main today i've obviously gone for a lasagna i knew i had to go and get one whilst i was here see i've just gone and got a cannoli it's my first cannoli that i've ever had it looks absolutely amazing it's from a place called pompey which is um just by the spanish steps really but it looks absolutely amazing can't wait to try this right let's go ahead and give it a try mm. it's absolutely amazing it's nice very different to what i thought it was going to be i like it it's good okay, just like that we are back in the room and i thought i'd give you like a full review of the Pompeii day today because obviously it's a little bit awkward when you're on a tour and your tour guide's there to actually kind of say things um in a vlog sort of thing so I thought I would just share it out so like I said in the vlog I did think that there was a lot of times which was it was quite time wasting considering it was the 12 hour tour a lot of it was obviously on the bus which was expected um but then like going to that, that kind of shop thing where they had all like the shell crystal things like it just to me it seemed like a waste of time and then it was kind of like stopping off at service stations and that kind of stuff and it just wasn't really what i was expecting so out of the 12 hour day i would say that probably only two hours of it was the actual sea in pompeii but actually the actual sea in pompeii part i absolutely loved it was one of my favorite things to do probably my favorite part like of this trip completely like i really loved going and seeing pompeii i just found it so so fascinating and the tour guide was really really good we learned so much information it was like just walking around a forgotten city and i just loved it um however would i go and pay to do an excursion like that again with the bus and stuff probably not if i was going to go to pompeii i'll probably look at getting the train to be honest because then you can do it at your own pace and spend more time there and exploring it i just found that the coach journey was really really long i mean it said two and a half hours, but it ended up taking us more like four hours to get there um, and back. Like, it was just long. It was really, really long, um, which a part of me was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to be that long. And when they're like time wasting, it was just a bit annoying. Um, but, you know, I'm really, really glad I went to Pompeii and I just really, really enjoyed seeing it all. It was just fascinating, really. Um, tomorrow, the plan is, is we have got the catacomb tour, which is really exciting. I can't wait to share the catacomb tour with you. Um, and I think that's really the main thing that we're doing tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to carry on with doing a bit of sightseeing. We mentioned kind of seeing the Trevi Fountain early. However, we got really good pictures the other day. So I'm not too sure. We'll see what we think of whether to go to the um, Trevi Fountain early. I'm not too sure yet. Depends how we're feeling because we're really, really tired. But um, yeah, that is it for today. So thank you for watching up to this point And I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to a brand new day. It's a bit of a later start today with ended up just leaving the hotel at nine o'clock it was a bit stressful because as i was getting ready i noticed that transport for london had taken money out of my account which i don't know why they've done that obviously i'm here in rome so i don't know why it's been taken out or in london but um so yeah we've trying been trying to sort that out so we're not going to be seeing the cherry fountain really really early like we said but what we're going to do is we're going to head over towards that area now obviously it's nine o'clock see the cherry fountain and go and get 
like a pastry or something over there they do this really nice like pistachio croissant sort of thing so we're thinking of doing that and then later on today we've got the dips and catacombs which will be really good um but then before that we want to go over to Trastevere and i want to try a restaurant over there for lunch so that's the plan for today so very excited right so we've made it to the trevi fountain it's now 20 past nine so i don't actually think it's too busy really there's definitely space um to get quite a good picture I'm gonna actually put a coin in today. It has to be done while you're here for good luck. Well, we managed to get straight down to the front, and there's not really anybody around. Too bad. So, I need to go and get a toss it out. Coin in. One, two, three. Right, this is where we're heading for breakfast. They do these like pistachio croissants. I'll show you what they're like. They look absolutely amazing. There you go, these are the croissants that I'm on about. This one that I want, it looks incredible. It's filled with like pistachio inside as well. We've got chocolate ones also. Yeah. There isn't much better in life than having a pistachio croissant in front of the Trevi Fountain. Perfect breakfast setting. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. It's got a lot of pistachio. Yeah. Bit. It's my absolute favourite. So nice. Right, so we've just headed down to Pandora and they have this whole like I Love Rome section and these are the different charms that you can get. One's well, looking at getting one, they've got like the Coliseum, um, a little Vespa. Yeah, they look really, really good. Right, we're just heading up to a place called Geniculum Hill, which is by Trastevere and it's obviously a hill and apparently you get really, really great. Um, views of Rome from the top, so it'd be really exciting to go up there. But there are a lot of steps, uh, which I kind of expected, but there are a lot of steps. Not sure I'm actually prepared for this right now. Let's go. Hundred and fourteen steps later, and we are still going uphill. It's so much harder in hot weather. Like I know going uphill is hard anyway, but when it's hot. It makes it 10 times harder. It's a nice view though. I'll show you when we get right up to the top. It's really nice. We're about halfway up now. And this is the view. So it's quite a good view, even just halfway up. Yeah, we'll carry on going. See what else we can see. Just a few more steps. Feeling rough. This is a rough time. Yeah, it will be worth it, I'm sure. Oh, and there's even more. There's a little Punch and Judy show as they're walking up. And we've finally gone and made it up the hill. Over here's a little monument here to Victor Emmanuel. And the view is just over there. It's a little bit like hazy today, so it's probably not the best view. Maybe it's, it's quite cloudy, but um, yeah, it'll be good to get some pictures up here. You can literally see the whole of Rome. the crickets chirping again um just obviously went up to that hill um i think it was okay i don't think the view actually was that great to be honest it might have been the day that we chose to go but it's a bit like hazy the sky today so that could have been why um but i feel like it's a, a lot of effort getting up there for not particularly great view but the pictures were okay i just feel like the camera doesn't really pick up the sights and it's so green at the moment that like the trees were kind of covering a lot of things so maybe it's the time of year i don't know but nonetheless it was really good just go and see that and it was on my list. Then I'm going to head over to Trastevere and go and get some lunch. We're going to have a little look around at different things over there. It's only going to be like a 10 minute walk and then we'll be at Trastevere. But we've got about 20 minutes to spare before we need to go to our restaurant. We're going to go to a restaurant called Tonarello's. So that's where we're going to go. But we're going to go first of all into this church here. It's called Basilica of Santa Maria and it's in Trastevere. And yeah, I feel like it's free to go in there. So we might as well just go in there for a little bit whilst we're waiting. Okay, so here is Tonorello, this 
this is the restaurant we're going to go to for our lunch today. So this literally just opened and it's the queue. It's very, very popular. Again, this is one that like is big on TikTok. People like always mention this one. So it's to be fair, it's expected because it's just opened. It's quite a long queue. Well, we're sitting down, we're in this really, really lovely outdoor area. I can't believe how big this restaurant actually is, but we were sat in about 20 minutes. And this is what we've gone for. So I've gone for the carbonara, which looks absolutely incredible. Focaccia, which is like my favorite bread ever. We get this with every single restaurant, but it honestly looks incredible. That was quite possibly my favorite meal that I've had here in Rome. It just made me realize that when I went to that Osteria de Fortunata, carbonara wasn't even that great. So in comparison, that was, I think my top number one meal. I absolutely loved it. Um, and the queue now is huge, I'll show you what the queue's like. So here's the queue for Osteria de Fortunata. So it goes all the way down there. And once you've done that part, you then join this queue here, which is around the corner. So it's huge. Okay, so we've just gone and made it now to our tour. We've got to meet in Triton by Triton Fountain, which is here. We didn't actually realise we had to get a coach to the Cancun, so I think it's like a 20 minute coach, but I'll let you know. Uh, but we're just meeting here, it's quite a long queue. Um, they told us to be here 15 minutes earlier before the coach goes, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, it's exciting, I can't wait to this. I've never done a Cancun before, so it'll be the first time, a bit creepy, but exciting. But we're heading into the crypts first, which is just by the fountain, but they've given us this, which is like an audio guide. We've only got 40 minutes in there. Right, so we've been told that we are not allowed to actually film inside the crypts at all, but I'll obviously tell you what it's like once I get out. But um, yeah, here it is right here. Cappuccino. It sounds like cappuccino. Is there a relationship? Yes, there is. Because cappuccio means good in Italian. And we've now gone and made our way to the catacombs. So it's a bit later now, it's about 9 o'clock, but we're going to go to Piccolo Buco, which is a pizza restaurant, it's a very long queue. But well, I can't believe it, after two hours we've finally made it into the restaurant. Um, here's the menus, they've got lots of different starters, pizzas, they're kind of split weirdly, so they have the margarita pizzas, and then they have like the yellow pizzas, the red pizzas, the white pizzas, so you've got to kind of like read them all separately, and then they've got desserts also. And this is the pizza I've gone for, the burrata mozzarella, which looks really lovely. Okay, we just got back to the hotel room, had a shower, freshened up, and now getting ready to go to bed. But um, it's been such a hectic, busy day today that I feel like I've not really vlogged much, especially like since the catacombs. So I thought I'd share my thoughts and opinions on that with you. So the first thing that we done was we went to the crypts and I actually really, really enjoyed going to the crypts. I think that was really good. That was actually my favourite part of the whole experience. Um, Sammy, who was our tour guide, was like really, really knowledgeable about everything so it was really great but yeah the crypts was my favorite part of the whole day actually going there that was literally like in the Rome city center right by the triton fountain and yeah like i just loved doing that i think like it was actually seeing the skeletons and that kind of thing what you expect to see we were in there for about 40 minutes and it was like an audio guide which was really good and then after that we went and we moved to we got a bus over to the catacombs and i learned a lot about the catacombs and what was disappointing was you see pictures of catacombs and you see them walking through and seeing all like the skulls and the bones and all that kind of thing these catacombs here in rome didn't actually have any remains in there so there was no skeletons or anything like that it was just an empty graveyard basically so i was slightly let down and that wasn't said at all so when we went and we booked it that wasn't mentioned at all it was only when we got on the coach from to go from rome to like the outside outskirts of rome to do the catacombs tour that they actually went and said that there was no remains there anymore so i felt a little bit disappointing it was very fascinating to be honest and it's like there's no real experience like that um i'd love to do the ones in paris though because they do look amazing but i just felt a little bit let down that was a bit of false advertising i would say but yeah so overall um it was quite a cheap excursion if i remember rightly it was it didn't cost a lot of money so it's definitely worth booking it i'd say um it was definitely interesting but just be aware that the catacombs there is no like remains in there it's just a, an empty underground graveyard but i did learn a lot to be fair um and then obviously we got back i literally um just kind of freshened up slightly and then we went to go to the pizza place that i uh piccolo buco i think it's called um we went there we waited two hours to get in there and I think it was an average meal. It was nothing too special. It's obviously a, a very, very tourist trap location. Um, the pizza was, it was nice. It was a nice pizza, but it was nothing too special. I personally would wait two hours for it. Um, I probably wouldn't even wait 20 minutes for it, to be fair. Like, it was just 
average and um, I've definitely had better here probably one of my worst meals that I've had here in all honesty but yeah so that is the end of this part of the vlog however there will be another vlog coming tomorrow I am going to get the train to Pisa which is going to be really really exciting so you can join me on my Pisa adventure get to see the lean tower of Pisa which is going to be absolutely amazing and that is that so thank you for watching part three of this Rome adventure I've had the most amazing time thank you so so much for watching um if you've enjoyed what you've watched so far then please make sure that you're subscribing just to make sure that you don't miss out on anything coming up um, I've also got a trip to Walt Disney World coming up soon so I'd love for you to join me on that one too but with all of that being said, I will see you real soon. Bye, guys.